When I first started this project, I didn't really have a doubt. I wanted to do it on my maternal grandfather, Clifford Watson, or as we call him, Granddaddy Cliff. He died before I was born, but I always grew up hearing stories about him, most famously that he showed up to my mom's graduation in an electric blue suit. That's not really relevant. I just think it's relevant. That's not really relevant. I just think it's hilarious. He also started the Paul Robeson Malcolm X Academy in Detroit for young black men. And I remember when I was younger, my mom had this clipping and I would always see it and I would go, one of my family members in a newspaper? Anyways, it was always hard not having him around growing up because I always looked up to his image as this very tell it like it is, no bullshit type of guy. And I always wonder if my life would have turned out differently if he was around. He always called the television the idiot box, so it's kind of ironic that I'm a film major and he named his school after Malcolm X who hated the media. So it's also kind of ironic that I run a newspaper. Yeah. <laughs> what I admire a lot about my granddaddy Cliff is his passion for education and beyond that, just knowledge on a fundamental level. One of the topics I'm most passionate about is racism. I think you can guess why. And it's not something you can really understand without knowing the nuances of the evolution of discrimination in this country and how it relates to capitalism because they're fundamentally interlinked in how this country came to be. The United States was built off of the exploitation and commodification of black men. And it's still baked into our systems. For example, take a look at the US prison rates. It, doesn't, it's a problem that black people compose 13% of the population and then black men compose 38% of the US prison population. And if you wanna throw back the stat that black people commit more crime, find me, cause I'm gonna have a good ass time telling you why you're wrong. I think that the guilt complex of the American white man is so profound until when you begin to analyze the real condition of the black man in America, Instead of the American white man eliminating the causes that create that condition, he tries to cover it up by accusing his accusers of teaching hate, but actually they're just exposing him for being responsible for what exists. Another example, take a look at the athletics industrial complex. That is so clever. Why do black athletes compose 58% of the NFL, 74% of the NBA, yet there's only one black principal owner? That seems a little sus if you ask me. It's not sus, it's racism. That's the answer, if you weren't aware. This has roots in black men originally being used as property, forced labor. Slavery's outlawed, you have sharecropping. You have black people systemically kept out of jobs and career paths. And those effects are compounded by redlining. You have a concentration of black people in underprivileged poor communities, then you have the introduction of crack, the war on drugs, prison industrial complex, school to prison pipeline. Moral of the station, black communities and black people have been disenfranchised and discriminated against for this entire nation's history. Our country is literally built on it. For those without job opportunities, we'll stimulate new opportunities, particularly in the inner cities where they live. For those who abandoned hope, We'll restore hope and we'll welcome them into a great national crusade to make America great again. And that's why we have the need for institutions like Malcolm X Academy and reparations. But that's another topic for a different day. I think you've had enough of a history lesson already. I wouldn't have been set on this path of understanding the complexities of our nation's history if it wasn't for people that came before me, like my granddaddy Cliff and people that came before him, his parents, Callie Nelson and Robert Watson. They owned a dry cleaner and built their house in Missouri. Due to systemic racism and discrimination, a lot of black people don't have that privilege that's passed down from generation. It's not generational wealth, but it's something. So Granddaddy Cliff, thank you for helping me be informed and not turn out like Kanye. Slavery for 400 years? For 400 years? That sounds like a choice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am totally a yay stan. That was literally just an excuse to put him in the video. <laughs> in Americans, and we are still dealing with modern day slavery until we really own our own community really make Wakanda, for real? This is gonna take more than the Jesus chain.